Hey friends, it's Sarah Autumn, and I just wanted to film what I did the other day um, when we were moving really, really fast and getting ready for Oroctus. Um, I know it was a lot of information at once, so I went ahead and just sat down and filmed um, everything we went over on my face, so maybe we could go slowly together or pause it, work on what you need to work on, then hit play, or if you need to revisit that, it'll be there for you guys to view. So I really hope you enjoy it and find it useful, and if you want to see um, a slowed down version of what we did the other day, keep on watching. All right, so I purposefully did not put anything on my face. It looks terrible. As you can see, I'm breaking out severely, but I just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to have perfect skin for this look to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in because we have a lot of ground to cover. Um, a lot of the products I did lend to my friends, so I'm gonna use substitutes, but I'll tell you what I'm using. So you're gonna wanna start with your primer. The one I suggested was the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. But um, just for this sake, and because my friend has mine, we're gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, um, Smooth and Blur. And with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, you need a little, just like a little bit, and work it into your hands, get it warm, and rub it all over your face, or your child's face. Next, we're gonna go in with our foundation, and I highly, highly, highly recommend the Revlon Colorstay 24 Hour Combination to Oily Skin Foundation. Um, when we start sweating, our makeup tends to slip, or we can get overly shiny. This one has never failed me, even though it does has an FPF, even though it does have an SPF 15 in it, it doesn't flash back in flash photography. I've worn this in beauty pageants, I've worn it to weddings. It will last you all throughout your fresh. So it's super cheap. It's at the drugstore, at the Walmart. Um, I would definitely recommend this one. And it doesn't break me out and I have very oily acne prone skin. So I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender. It doesn't matter what kind you have, just make sure you dampen it and wring it out. Don't leave it sopping wet with water. And put your foundation on the back of your hand first scoop it with the beauty blender and then pat it in, okay? I didn't realize I didn't set up a mirror, so excuse this. Okay, so we really do need to be putting a foundation on everyone, even if we are younger. When you're up on stage and you have those bright lights, it's really difficult to, to differentiate the face. It washes the children out. Um, so please, please, please do think about that um, when deciding whether to put a foundation on or not. Also, if you do not get this foundation, do not select a foundation with SPF. Most of the times, SPF means it will flash back in flash photography, so you'll have this white cast on your face. Um, let me go ahead and move on to the next part. We're back, sorry, the lighting was terrible. I haven't done this in forever. So after we get our foundation on, we're gonna wanna go in with concealer. Um, my favorite is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I get it in the lightest shade possible because I really, really wanna make that contrast um, when I'm contouring my face. So I'm gonna show you where to put this and show you how to buff it out. Um, like I said, if you are weary about putting contour or foundation on your child, go easier, but it is important when they're on a very large stage, you want their features to be defined, you want them to look like they're not washed out, you want them to be able to say, oh, that child is lovely, like look at her face. It looks great, not too much, because they're gonna be far away, so it's gonna be more difficult to see your child's features, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna put it under the eyes in an upside down triangle, like a clown. I'm gonna put it on the forehead in an upside down triangle, like a clown. I can't even see that, hang on, I need more. Then I'm gonna put it on the chin and straight down the nose. That's how I put it. 
Once you have it on, go ahead and buff that out with your damp beauty blender. The harder you push, the more makeup it's going to take off of your face. Be aware of that. All right, perfect. If you do have blemishes, this is where you're gonna wanna use that concealer on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover my blemish blemishes and then buff them out with the beauty blender, okay? And then just gently buff these out because you don't want to take off the concealer to expose the redness. Or at least in my case. All right, perfect. Now that I've got that on, I'm going to go ahead and start doing my contour. And I'm also using the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, in Espresso. And when you get this one on your face, work fast, please. It does set down faster than the lighter color concealer. Um, you can always build up, but if you go in too hard, it's very difficult to take it off. So go in lightly if you're unsure. Um, with the little ones, I would contour a little bit just so when they get so far away and under those bright lights, they have definition to their face. You can see their beautiful cheekbones and their jawline. It's not blurred by the bright lights and the distance from the big stage. So I'm gonna take this and let's see here. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna do it sideways so you can see it. I'm gonna put it right underneath my cheekbone and just kind of dot it. Set it down, blend it out. And I like my contour a little heavy, so I'm gonna leave that because it'll be buffed out. But if you like it lighter, go ahead and buff it out even more. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Oh, I can't spin the chair like this. Okay, I'll face forward for it. With that, then I'm gonna go to the forehead because I really want to make those dimensions on my face so I look good from very far away and under the bright lights. And I'm gonna put it right here. See that? I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna buff it out towards the rest of my face. So I'm bringing it on my hairline this way and this way where the sun would naturally hit my forehead if we weren't in November. So I'm gonna do it on this side too, so you can see. Bring it out. Where it would naturally hit my forehead if we weren't in Idaho in November. See the difference? Brings the focus to the middle of the face. Cause the outside is contoured. Now I'm going to go in underneath my jaw to really sculpt that jawline. Um, so I'm going to take, I'll do it sideways so you can see it. I'm going to go right here, right underneath my jaw, just a little bit. And just pop that in there, pat it out. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, right underneath that jawline, just a little. Pat it out. And next I'm gonna go into my nose and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw down the side and then across the middle to shape my nose. Can you see what I'm doing? This is how I drew it. I kinda look like a deer, but I swear it'll make your nose look snatched. And then just pat it out. See? 
Um, moms of the little one, if you could just get cheek contour and forehead contour on them, that's perfectly fine. I think that will be enough to make their face really pop from the stage. So next, now that we have our contour done, um, we're gonna go in and bake the places that we highlighted. So I lent my baking powder to one of my friends, so I'm actually, I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me because I do use such a light shade, but normally um, I use the e.l.f. HD translucent setting powder. Um, it's very affordable. You can find it at Walgreens, Walmart, all those places. And what you're gonna wanna do is with your damp beauty blender, scoop the powder up. I closed my mirror, hang on. This is gonna take forever to edit. Okay, scoop the powder up. See how I have it here? Put it underneath the eye and press. See, see what I'm doing? So let me get some more. Scooped it up, press underneath the eye. This is really gonna lock that highlighter in um, and keep it from going anywhere when we start dancing and sweating and who knows what else. So press it in, press it in, give it a good press. I also do it on my forehead because I sweat there a lot where we put that, that highlight, that concealer, put it on my forehead, down my nose, my nose gets very oily, and then on the two sides of my cheeks, and then we leave it. So we're gonna let that sit and bake and lock in our concealer see here. Next, I'm gonna have us go ahead and jump into eyeshadow and I will zoom you in in the editing so I can show you um, closer so you can see. If you didn't get concealer on your eyes when you were doing your um, concealing and whatnot, go ahead and just put a little bit on your eyes and rub it in. We're gonna prep the eyes for the eyeshadow. So first, now that we have our concealer down as our base, we are gonna take a fluffy eyeshadow brush. It doesn't really matter what kind, as long as it's nice and fluffy. Um, and then I have the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening eyeshadow palette. I really do think it's good that you get a, a nude eyeshadow palette because if you buy an eyeshadow palette that pulls pink or pulls purple, it will show up on stage. And if you're doing team dances, it will look different than the other teammates. So, um, if you don't have a neutral eyeshadow palette with colors similar to this one, please consider getting one. Um, it's gonna make a difference. So first things first, we wanna lay down the lightest shade possible. So I'm gonna take this very light shade right here and put it all over my eyelid. This has a great mirror in it if you're interested. This is the Sophie X Ultra Eyeshadow Palette by Revolution, and I love, I love Sophia's stuff. I like so much. Like, I think her name is actually Soph. I don't know, she's English, but I love her stuff, and it's so affordable. So if you're ever considering getting her stuff, I would absolutely do it. All right, now that we have that all over our eyelid, even up to the eyebrow, we're gonna go in with our next color. And this is gonna be this transition color brown, this light brown color. And we're gonna put it on the eyelid, but not all the way up to the eyebrow. I'll show you exactly where I'm gonna put it, okay? Take that same brush. Can you see that? Can you see where I put it? I'm going slow. Do not pass the crease. Just back and forth windshield wipers right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and build that up until I can see a good difference in color. All 
All right, now that I've got that in there, I'm actually gonna go ahead and go in with the darker brown. And I'm gonna put that in the crease and take it the outer two thirds and then around the lash line. Outer two thirds, lash line in a C motion, okay? We wanna create that smoky eye effect. So this is the color I'm using. I'm gonna go in lightly, don't go in too hard. You can always build it up, but you can't always take away, just so we're all clear. That's a, that's a good rule for life. Really blend it in, work it in so you don't get harsh lines, okay? If you wanna spend time on anything during this, do it on the eyeshadow. It's what makes the difference between good eyeshadow and bad eyeshadow. Blend it in. that on there take your big fluffy brush and buff everything out give it a nice once or two over and then we're gonna take another one of our brushes whatever you really have available it doesn't have to be small um, just not too fluffy and we're gonna go into this medium brown shimmer color right here do you see what I'm pointing at and I'm gonna put that on the, here, I'll show you where I'm gonna put it. I don't know what to call it, the round part of the eye. Right here. You see where I'm putting this? On the lid, I guess, but not on the outer third. Ooh, I got too much on that brush. That's okay, we can clean that up. really like that color okay now I'm gonna go in I need a clean brush I'm gonna go in with my finger um, and this is the lightest shimmery shadow and I'm gonna put it on the inner corner of my eye to get that pop so, pop that on the inner corner and then I'm gonna take my brush my little brush again and do that same color underneath our brow bone. I always like to give everything a once over, so I'm gonna again go into the crease with my dark brush, give it a good buff. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush, go into that neutral brown color that we had. That was so good, that top one. Go over the outer third. Again. And littles, this is where you're gonna do what I'm gonna do. Um, anyone 14 or older, we're gonna keep going with something differently, but just so we don't have any confusion or anything, the littles, we will be doing this side of my face like you should be doing it, and the bigs will be doing this side of my face like you should be doing it. So, since we are littles, we're going to go ahead and be putting on our mascara. Um, we don't really need to bother with eyeliner. We're young, we don't wanna, we just want to be able to be seen on stage. We don't need to fuss with all the other stuff. I actually have two of these. I'm gonna do the not waterproof one because it's like nine o'clock. We'll go ahead and put that mascara on. If we have issues with mascara, a trick that I learned is have your child look straight Put the wand at the base of their lashes and wiggle. Wiggle it side to side. That way, if they twitch, it works with them twitching instead of against it. All right, and littles, if you're comfortable with bottom mascara, go right ahead. If not, that's totally fine. Okay. 
Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna move on to what we're gonna do to the big um, eyeshadow. So, take that brush that you were being really dark with and stuff, and we're gonna go into a deeper shade. We're gonna add some black just to make it more intense and really bring out that smoky eye. I like to use a smaller brush to lay down the black, and then I'll buff it with this end. So I'm gonna dip into it very lightly. Place it right here in that outer third, and then make that C with the lower lash line. Can you see what, that shape that I just made? So now that it's placed, I'm gonna go in with this end that was in the dark brown and buff it out. And you can always go back for more, but you can't necessarily retract, so be aware of that. Then I'm just gonna keep working it in until I get to the correct depth that I like, and then buff. Just work and buff and work and buff. I am rather happy with that, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and line my, um, my eyelid. I am a big fan of liquid eyeliner. Um, my friend has my NYX one, I don't have it, or my Wet n Wild one, I don't have it, but this one is the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty one. It's really nice. Um, it's not necessary though. I like the Wet n Wild one just as well. So I'm gonna take it and go along with the lash line. Like I've been saying the whole video, you can always add more, you can't necessarily retract. Try to get as close to that lash line as you possibly can. Don't wing it out, because with the false eyelashes, we really won't need a wing, okay? We should be good and dry now. On the eyeliner, I'm gonna go in next and show you how I put on false eyelashes. So, where are they? Oh my goodness, hang on. These are my Meredith Boyd eyelashes. Normally for an event like dancing, I would use disposable, um, either like Ardell Wispies or the Kiss Natural Wispy Lashes. I don't normally use reusable eyelashes for dance competitions. These were my Miss Georgia eyelashes, um, but I lent my friend a pack of my Ardell Wispies. So I don't actually have those with me, so we'll be using these. A great way to get your eyelash ready is to take the band and warm it up a little bit. Give it a good rounding stretch. Get it nice and limber, especially if you have kind of almond eyes like I do. Um, I really, really like the Duo Brush-On Adhesive Glue. It's green, it's very gentle, um, so that's one of my favorites. And then I always use these plastic tweezers to get my eyelash into place. So, I'm gonna go ahead and brush on the glue. It looks like this. Here, I'll show you. Looks like this. And I'm just gonna take the lash and just brush it on. And I like a lot of glue on mine, but that's a personal preference because I like to move mine around until I get it into the perfect spot. So I like to be able to see that there is clearly glue on this eyelash. It will dry clear, so don't freak out that it's white. I promise it'll dry nicely. Okay. And it's not gonna dry too fast, so you have a second. You don't need to panic. The way, I'm really good at getting these on other people, but I'm not so great at getting them on myself. You think I would be at this point. But the way I get these on is I take my two tweezers, I tilt the eyelash like this, drop it down and flip it down. So I get it where I want, drop it down, see how it's pointed straight up, and then flip it down and give it a push into that lash line. Now I'm just gonna wiggle and adjust it until I get it in the right spot, okay? okay. For our purposes, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, eyebrows while I'm waiting on this to dry. If you're doing somebody else's eyelashes, keep their eyes closed until it dries. I 
can't find my eyebrow wand, the Maybelline one that I love and use every day. I think I lent it to my friend as well, but even if your eyebrows are dense like mine, go ahead and give it a once through with that um, eyebrow gel because when you're on stage, it's going to make a difference when the light hits it. Um, you don't want your eyebrows to appear ashy or not the same color as your wig or washed out or dull. So go ahead and fill those eyebrows in. I have massive eyebrows and I still fill them in. And on the, the younger side, let's, let's do our eyebrows as well, um, just so they look really nice on stage. All right, perfect. Now that my um, ooh, now that my eyelashes have dried down, I'm gonna go ahead. Well, I would normally go ahead and go in with the voluminous mascara underneath to blend the false eyelashes with these eyelashes. These are reusable, so I will not be doing that um, because it will ruin reusable eyelashes. But if you're using one-time eyelashes, please put mascara on after you glue them down. If you're using reusable eyelashes, put your mascara on, let it dry, and then put your false eyelashes on. So, point of story. Next, now that we have that taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and clear off this baking and start working on the rest of our face. So, I'm gonna take, ooh, got some eyeshadow under here. It's wild. Okay. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of brush off that baking that we did. So it doesn't look too crazy anymore. All right, nice. Then I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. I really, really love the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. I think it blends beautifully. Um, I don't remember what shade this is, but I included it in the PDF document. And I'm gonna take any larger brush. If you have a brush like this, pinch it. It'll help us get into the right spot. But mine is kind of angled a little bit like this. So go ahead and go in. And I'm gonna go over that contour to really deepen it and make it look nice. So I'm gonna show you from the side view. Okay, so you saw what I did. I hit my cheeks a little bit harder so it really defined those cheekbones. I hit my forehead as well. And then underneath my chin. And then down my nose. Just so we have that good definition. Exactly where you put the, um, oh my gosh, here's my poreless putty primer. I did not lend her this. I can't believe it. Um, just so we have that good Contour. It looks really crazy with me doing half eyelashes, half not eyelashes, so sorry. Um, next, we're gonna go ahead and go in with our blush, and I understand a lot of you guys had a hard time finding the e.l.f. blush palette in deep. What I really wanted us to find was this peach color. I think it's very, very nice, but a bunch of other brands make a peach blush. So anything similar, like this is, you can't even see that. This one's nice. Um, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. one, just because, why not? Um, but anything that nice peachy pink that's a little muted, that's what we want. We don't want to get on stage and the judges be like, holy fuchsia. That's not what we want. So I'm gonna show you how I put my blush on from the side view to really lift your face, and then I'll show you straight on, so. So I put it right above my bronzer as to lift my face. I don't want my cheeks flushed right here like I've been working out hard or something. I just want to bring a nice lift to the face. And littles, please put on blush. It's so cute when you guys wear blush and you just look so good on stage. I put a little bit down my nose because I am so fair. That's optional. If you do it, please make sure you don't look sunburned. I'm just gonna make sure it's even. Perfect. So now that I have that on, I'm actually gonna go back into the Maybelline Fit Me powder. 
Um, and I'm just gonna dust it all over my face. Just dust it gently. Kind of even out that blush and bronzer, make it melt together. If you do happen to knock off some of your blush, just go back in and add some more. Totally fine. Okay, now we're gonna take our highlighter and I like the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Blossom Glow. I think it's great, super affordable. And I'm going to top my blush with the highlighter and let me show you where I put it on the side and then I'll face forward. Highlighter looks so great when you're performing on stage. So please do put highlighter on. It will just make you shine in a good way, not in a sweaty way. Okay, now I'm gonna show our bigs what else we can be doing to our eyes if we wanna go the extra mile. And this is something I learned later on, um, but I think it does make a difference when I'm on stage to make my eye look bigger and more uh, apparent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into that eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take a small flat brush and I'm gonna go into that light, that very light shimmery shade and I'm gonna take it and go underneath and drag it just a third of my eye. Do you see what I did there? Then I'm gonna go into that transition shade up here, that light brown, rub it in good. I'm gonna take it and put it in the rest of the way, all the way up. I'm gonna add a little more. And then I'm gonna go into this darker transition shade down here, stark brown. I'm gonna put it on the outer third underneath. That way we smoked out the eye. You see what I did there? Now, we are free to go in and put mascara on the bottom lashes. I wait till after I've removed the baking to do this because if you do this before the baking and then you go to wipe away the baking, it could possibly wipe away your um, under eyeshadow. So. I like that. Now that I have all of that on, I'm gonna spray my face with setting spray, and this is very, very important. Um, we need to set that makeup down, melt it all together, and ensure that it's gonna stay on your face when you start sweating. Because I don't really know anyone that can make it through really more than like two trad sets without sweating profusely. If you can, good for you, but I can't. Um, so I normally use the Wet n Wild photo focus setting spray, but um, my friend has it, and so I'll be using the MAC Fix Plus uh, setting spray. It's just a little, and I'll spray it all over my face and fan it. When you spray it, relax your face, because if you spray it and wrinkle your face, your face will set like that, okay? Okay. All right, I feel like it's set down. And the last step is the lip product. Let me go grab it, okay? Okay, so this is not the exact one, but it's the same brand, the Superstay 24 color. Um, the one that we're doing for the Fesh is um, Brooklyn Sunset. This one that I'm using is, I can't read that, Wildberry, Wildberry. But this is a very great liquid lipstick. It will set down and it will not move. And so if you have children, you know that's great. <laughs> Or if you like to eat, it's really great. <laughs> Cause then you won't have to be reapplying your lipstick 24 seven. <laughs> so the way I get this on, it has an angle like this. I'm gonna use this angle side and just draw it on. It does take a second to dry down, so just wait. And then after it dries down, we're gonna put the lip balm on cause it comes with a lip balm.
right perfect i got the lip balm on it it shouldn't move um if it does need refreshing just throw the lip balm on it's totally fine like it's really great and doesn't transfer um so this is the look so here is the the bags and here's the littles what do we think i hope you guys like this and really enjoyed it um thanks for having me do this i haven't been able to enjoy makeup since school started and doing makeup with you guys made me want to do it again and who knows maybe maybe i'll pursue doing makeup more but um, if you need any help or need any advice, please feel free to contact me. And you guys are going to do great at, um, at Aractus. So yeah. Okay, bye.